No pilot, no problem. Here's how soon self-flying planes could be taking off. A decade ago, the conversation of autonomous planes was largely speculative. But today, many in the aviation industry believe that small self-flying planes could be carrying passengers by the end of the decade. The U.S. military has been flying autonomous planes for decades, but always in segregated airspace. People have been flying and manned and optionally propelled aircraft on the defense side for quite a while now. Uh, you know, since the late 80s, early 90s, and, uh, and beyond, it's become quite widespread. Uh, so we're building upon the, uh, you know, that knowledge base that, that's been developed on the defense side. In order to bring it to the commercial market, you need to get to very high levels of safety and demonstrate that to the regulator. It's going to be safe not only for its occupants or its cargo, but it's also going to be safe for the other vehicles that are flying in the, you know, in the, in the airspace and for people on the ground. Barring no major safety incidents, it could take as little as another decade before larger passenger jets operate without a pilot on the flight deck. Six years ago, a report from the Swiss bank UBS estimated that autonomous planes could save the air transportation industry more than $35 billion per year. Still, the same report flagged a public perception problem. A 2017 global survey found that a majority of people would be unwilling to fly in a plane without a pilot, even if the airfare were cheaper. The next year, a public survey from Ipsos found that 81% of Americans would not be comfortable traveling on a self-flying plane. Notably, that survey was sponsored by the Airlines Pilot Association, whose 65,000 members make up the largest pilot union in the country. For the past few years, X-Wing, an autonomous cargo aircraft manufacturer, has been running autonomous test missions, mostly in California. A flight plan is submitted, just as if there was a human pilot, and the flight parameters are pre-programmed before takeoff. However, until the technology is certified by the FAA, there will need to be a safety pilot on board, allowing X-Wing to fly without jumping through regulatory hoops. Meanwhile, the plane is operated from the ground, with two human controllers watching a moving map on screens and interfacing with air traffic control. Once the technology is certified, X-Wing plans to introduce and operate these vehicles by late 2025, and then make it available to other operators. Uh, you know, automation makes things safer, uh, not less so. And statistics don't lie. Uh, it's been very clear for the past few decades so people should feel comfortable and the regulator knows uh, how to uh, ensure that uh, technology being deployed, especially in the form of uh, pilotless flight gear, is going to follow the same process and the same safety standard that it's followed for the past decades, which have led to commercial aviation being the safest mode of transportation by far. Uh, in fact, the likelihood of you uh, getting injured uh, from an aircraft, from a flight, a commercial flight, is hundreds of times uh, lesser than that, uh, from thousands than, than that of driving, for example. The more automation in general, uh, the safer the flight. And, uh, and we're really building on, upon decades of experience of, uh, by the regulator and by the industry in improving safety uh, through technology deployment here. This is just a natural evolution of that. We're actually working towards a much closer certification timeline here. On the cargo front, we're looking at uh, the 2026 timeframe to start deploying this commercially in the, in the United States and, uh, and, and at scale. The, the safety levels that we're targeting on the cargo front are the same uh, that if we, um, um, if we were to put passengers on board, so very high levels of safety. I suspect passenger applications will come in before the turn of the decade here and uh, on the smaller aircraft side. For manufacturers, bringing new aircrafts into the mix requires navigating the regulations of the FAA and the world's other aviation authorities. Boeing told Forbes that the FAA will be working on building a certification for autonomy. There's a safety component here. Um, so the other pilots have come a long way over the past uh, decades. And it's to the point where it's often safer for an autopilot to fly the aircraft than it is for pilots uh, to manually fly an aircraft. The, um, there's also a significant pilot shortage, shortage across the industry that's uh, producing service to a lot of the smaller localities out there. 
um, and hurting those localities by um, um, preventing them from receiving actually express or uh, express goods, but also commercial uh, passenger services getting significantly reduced. So this technology holds a lot of promise. By removing the need for a pilot from the vehicle, you can start thinking about having affordable flight with smaller aircraft and thus have more smaller destination uh, within reach, have more frequent service to those destination, whether it be for, for cargo, but also eventually for passengers down the road and provide a boon for all the smaller communities out there.